This is the victim, Timmy123. Now Timmy loves playing Hypixel Skyblock, and he's pretty good at it too. He's got a hundred million coins in the bank and a few pretty nice armor sets as well. But little does he know in just a few hours time, he will lose all of it because he downloaded one single mod. Timmy was farming zombies at the time of this disaster. This is when he saw a mysterious message in chat. Raffle on my island for the Skyblock Extras mod. Free to join, visit my island now. The Skyblock Extras mod? That's a $5 mod and they're just giving it for free? The Skyblock Extras mod has tons of useful features that will help Timmy get so many coins. It makes the game so much easier to play and is fully legal as well. So he decides to go and check it out. Besides, What's the worst that can happen? He visits the island, which already has a few other guests there. Remember, this was a raffle, so Timmy has not secured the mod yet. There's four signs with numbers on them, and the host says, pick a number, any number. Timmy picks the number two. Once everyone has picked a sign, the host pauses. He seems to be drawing a number out of a hat, maybe, or spinning a wheel to pick the winner. And then... Number two is the winner. This cannot be real. But soon enough, the host adds him on Discord, and there is the mod. Sure enough, right there, and it all looks pretty legit. It's the right file size and everything. Timmy downloads the mod, and the host helps him to get it set up. But then things start to go horribly wrong. Firstly, the host says he is having some technical difficulties. He is talking with the admins of Skywalk Extras, and they need Timmy to log out so they can load the mod properly. That's reasonable. Timmy logs off. But then, no response from the host. About an hour and a half later, he gets impatient and decides to log back on. And to his horror, everything is gone. His inventory? Empty. His wardrobe? Empty. Even his chest stripped of any valuable items. Timmy rushes to the bank. This cannot be true. But sure enough, his hundred million coins have been turned to zero. Timmy is devastated. As you might have guessed, that mod was not the real Skyblock Extras mod. It was in fact a rat mod. And when Timmy downloaded it and put it in his mods folder, the host was able to get a hold of his account. But how and why? Well, it turns out there's a whole organization of these so-called rat modders or keyloggers. And I had the pleasure of talking with one. This is Snow, and he will give us the answers to all the questions that we have, including how much real money he's made off of this operation. Before we get started, let me explain really quick what a session ID is. This is a very very important term. When you log into Minecraft, you get a session ID. This is a string of characters that look something like this. If I was to log onto a Minecraft server, like Hypixel, Hypixel would go, yo, who is this? And then Mojang would give them my session ID. Then Hypixel will be like, yep, this is Kekofari, and then let me in on my account. Session IDs are private. If someone gets a hold of your session ID, then they could essentially log on to your account. You might see where this is going, but I'll let Snow explain the rest. So my first question is, how does a scam work? Just the basics. All right, so one of my friends was able to crack Skyblock Extras. It's a really popular mod. And so he just removed every single, like, all the code and replaced it with a rat. And he spoofed the file size so it looked like the real file. Through a raffle, we'd advertise it in public chat or hub chats. And we'd get them to go on our island. We'd wait until we get five other people on the island. What we'd do is we'd always select the highest net worth player. I guess you won the raffle. We'd add them, we'd friend them on Discord, we'd send that to them. We pretty much prayed on the week. That's what we did. And then what happened when they downloaded the mod? What would you do? We'd, um, it would ping us in a Discord server with their session ID. There was another mod we had used separately where we could load session IDs from. And then a, another bot would tell us their net worth. And then we'd just wait until they're offline. And as soon as they're offline for an like, extended period of time, we hit them and we just take all their stuff. Once Snow had obtained the session ID, he was able to log on to the victim's account. He could then transfer all their coins and items to another account and hold it there until he sells the coins to someone else for real money. But we'll get to that in a bit. Now let's hear from a victim of a rat mod scam. This is Warrior. Now he did not fall to one of these raffle scams, but instead he was looking for a mod that would help him out with dungeons. So he asked his friend for one, but it turns out his friend was a rat modder. So this is a dude that I thought was my friend. I'd been chatting with him for a couple months. He was the guild owner, and then I was gonna play dungeons, and I needed the mod. He gave me the file. Did he send it to you through Discord? Yeah. I downloaded it. Um, I put it into my mods folder, thinking that it was the actual mod, mm -hmm. and it doesn't work, and then I ask, oh, what do I need to do? And he said, oh, it should work. I think it was like a week, and my stuff was gone. 
Actually, no, mm. not even like three days. And I just quit for like six months. Do you know how much play time you had on that profile about? 800 hours. And then it was just all deleted pretty much. Yeah. Now, if you do get your session ID stolen, just log out of Minecraft and log back in and it should generate a new session ID so the hackers will no longer have a hold of your account. Sure, the damage might have already been done and your stuff may have been stolen already, but at least you can preserve your Minecraft account. Now back to the scammer sides of things. Now, how did you even get started in this uh, business? One of my friends was doing it like a while before me, I'd say like three three months-ish. And I saw him doing it, he offered me to do it, and I was like, no, oh, this looks cool. I'd want to become rich in a skyblock, and this seemed like a shortcut. I later learned that you can sell these coins for real money, so this is what it did. Okay, yeah, let's, let's talk about that actually. So you, once you got the coins, you would sell them to IRL traders essentially, right? Um, I'd sell them to like these big IRL trading discords. Do you, do you want to say how, around how much you made or no? <laughs> I made around like five or six grand off of it. Dang, okay. <laughs> that is crazy. And did you want to say your age? You don't have to. I am 14. Do you, do you regret it or or no? So it's like yes and no because I've got this money now. I can invest. I can get myself set up for life. I know I did a bad thing to get to there. What do you guys think of this whole situation? Are the rat modders in the wrong? Is it the victim's fault for falling for the scam in the first place? Huge thanks to Snow and Warrior. I know this is kind of an old topic, but it was super interesting, so I kind of wanted to make a video on it. Leave a like and a comment for the algorithm. Stay safe and Kekofari out.